Uh, this patient has a giant congenital nevus and they have tissue expanders to help prepare for surgery. You were my baby, say it too. This is a case of giant congenital nevi. Congenital meaning that these moles are present at birth. To qualify for giant congenital nevi, you have to have a mole that's 20 centimeters or larger. This patient, Ella, has hundreds of congenital nevi on her body. And if you have multiple nevi, especially over 20 satellite nevi, you have moles that are affecting the back of the scalp and the neck, you have a higher risk of developing neurocutaneous melanosis. And you can have deposits of melanin in the brain leading to complications like seizures, hydrocephalus, or developmental delay. And the big question is, what are the chances that a giant congenital nevus can turn into a melanoma, which you guys know is a very aggressive skin cancer. In my training, it was always thought between 5 to 6% or up to 10% risk of these congenital nevi turning into melanoma. So, so whenever we monitored them in clinic, we would palpate the moles and feel deep because if you do have melanoma, not only are we looking for surface changes, but we're looking for deeper down indurated changes under the mole or around the mole. Treatment of congenital nevi in this case would be multidisciplinary involving neurology, plastic surgery, dermatology, and good luck to her parents who are taking on not just a financial burden, but a psychological burden that I cannot imagine. We're all rooting for you, Ella. Please take care.